Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know here on my channel and across quite a few other channels as well, the big topic of discussion has been about how so many creators, including Rob Beauty Christie, have been completely silent about their support of James Charles. That has been very out in the open. It's been very blatant. Liking pictures, following him, collaborating with him. I mean, there are so many different creators who are kind of just not even addressing the issue at hand, the very large elephant in the room, about him admitting to being a freaking predator towards people who are under the age of 18. It's disgusting. And they're choosing to just be like, mm, we don't care. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. And if you don't like it, fuck off. So as we all know, a lot of the big influencers within the beauty community have had a lot of pressure on their ass. I mean, on their ass. Like, people have been stepping on necks, bitch, and holding it there for months now for them to come out and openly denounce any kind of support of James Charles. Well, as we all know, that has not happened. One of the creators in particular that has had a lot of pressure on her has been Rob Beauty Christie. And that is who we're talking about, obviously, today. Now, the reason why people are really, like, on her ass about this is because this is a situation involving an adult who admitted, openly admitted, at length in a video on his YouTube channel to having inappropriate relationships or inappropriate contact, I should say, really, with people who are under the age of 18, okay? And people are like, you're a mother, like, why wouldn't you be against this? Why wouldn't you be the first one to be like, I can no longer support James Charles. I can no longer follow him, support him, like his pictures. Like, I don't want anything to do with James Charles. Why is that so hard? And people have been asking this question for such a long time time. For the most part, all of the influencers who still follow James, still collaborate with James, still support James, they've all ignored all the calls from their subscribers to address this issue and denounce any kind of relationship with him because it's disgusting to stand behind somebody who has admitted to being a fucking predator. The reason why Christy is in the hot seat now especially is because apparently, allegedly, a few months back, uh, Rob Beauty Christie had had a conversation with Peter Mon, who is obviously, if you have been on this, you know, platform for any length of time, we all know Peter Mon. He is a very large drama channel here in the beauty space on YouTube. Uh, allegedly, there was a conversation behind the scenes between her and Peter Mon, where Peter was like, you really should, you know, address this issue and denounce any kind of support of James Charles. And allegedly there was some sort of like agreement on it, like where, not agreement, but she definitely, I guess, the conversation sounded like she did plan on addressing the issue at some point. And so when Peter came out and talked about it on his channel, uh, people were like, oh, so we should expect something, you know, soon, right? There is no. Clearly, she is also on the list of people who just don't give a fuck about, you know, standing up against people like James who are fucking disgusting. So like wild to me about this whole situation is that there are actually influencers like Tana Mojo. She has openly denounced any kind of relationship or support for Colleen Ballinger and has in fact called out Colleen for being a piece of shit and has talked about it on her podcast, I believe it was. I can't understand why people can't have the same energy with people who are guilty of the same thing. Colleen and James are guilty of being pieces of shit predators. Like they did the same exact thing. So why everyone will denounce publicly and be so performatively outraged against Colleen Ballinger, but be silent and still follow James, still like his pictures and all sorts of bullshit. When he did the same thing, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like I said, people have been on Christie's neck for months to talk about this situation with James and she just hasn't. And when I saw that she uploaded this MLM video, which I'll get into in a second because I have a few things to say about it. When I saw that she uploaded this video and then I saw the comments from people who are like, oh my god, I've been waiting for this video for so long. It's been so many years since you first talked about it. I guess she's hyped up this video to be this big deal and people were like anxiously awaiting for her to release this video about MLMs and all this shit. But I saw through it, okay? I feel almost like this was her attempt at keeping the people who have been on her ass for fucking months at bay. Like, I feel like this was her attempt at being like, you know what, I'm not gonna talk about James right now, but what I will talk about is MLMs. And I've promised this video to you guys for years. I've made you guys wait for this video for so, so long, but, here it is. Isn't it great? 
And I feel like a lot of people, because I, I saw the comments when it was first uploaded, okay? I went to the comment section and people were just like, what? And honestly, it worked. Because a lot of the comments that she had gotten in the comment section that I see now are all comments celebrating the release of this video. As you guys know, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, I have covered anti-MLM videos. I love talking about them. I love exposing these brands because quite frankly, it is really disgusting the lengths that these brands will go to in order to make a quick buck for themselves. You know what I mean? But it's not surprising. As you guys may or may not know, MLM videos are a dime a dozen here on YouTube. There are hundreds, if not thousands of anti-MLM videos across this platform. And I've worked closely with quite a few creators, both on and off of YouTube, to create the videos that I've made about MLMs. And one of the funniest points, I think, of watching Christie's video was coming to the realization that about 18 minutes of the entire 28-minute video was all regurgitated, recycled information that literally every single anti-MLM channel or forum has talked about in their videos. Shit you not, there was a clip, I think his name is John Oliver, he's a, a, a nightly talk show host, I think, or he was at one point. I'm not sure if his show is still on air, but nonetheless, there was a clip that she had put in her video about John discussing MLM brands. I think it was Herbalife specifically. And it's a clip that I've used in some of my videos and that I've seen in other anti-MLM videos in the past. Like it's an older clip, it's a couple years old, but it's all the same information. So there was really nothing new brought to the table. And I feel like she had pumped up this video and she'd like made it out to be this like really, really deep dive into the world of MLMs. And I feel like she kind of made it out to be like this thing where she was gonna dive deeper than any other channel has ever done so before on this platform and bring new information and all sorts of stuff. And I, I, I came to the stark realization pretty late in the video while watching it, that that was not the case. Like I was watching her talk about things that has been talked about for years. The only new information was her talking about her experience with one of the MLM brands herself when she got roped into it. And so that's what really made me realize like this was absolutely a distraction and a way to keep, or I would say in her mind, it was a way to keep people off her neck for a few about this James Charles bullshit. As a matter of fact, it only made it worse. Um, And what's funny about it is actually, as I'm watching this video, there was two times when I heard her mention the word predatory ever again. The problem here is about giving your money to companies who would prey on vulnerable people. I personally don't take well to seeing my friends, family, peers fall into these manipulative, predatory business structures that will without a doubt leave them worse off financially, feeling worse mentally. And each time she used it, I couldn't help but think. So she will call out MLM brands for being predatory, but she won't denounce any kind of support for an actual like dangerous predator who was admitted to having inappropriate conversations and contact with, with people who are minors. Okay, cool. So I wonder what if we got James Charles to join an MLM brand? Maybe then she would become enraged enough to finally speak out and denounce any kind of support for James and finally unfollow him and finally stop liking all of his pictures. I wonder if that will, you know, stir a change in her finally. I don't know, just just thinking out loud. In the video, I was so annoyed because I was like, I wasted 28 minutes of my time, of my life that I will never get back. And I was like, God damn, people need to take a class on how to fucking read a room, right? Like, I feel like she needs to take a class on how to read a room. Because for her to sit here and talk so openly about predatory MLMs, but then ignore the requests from her subscribers, it's not just me or people like me who are not subscribed to her who are like patiently waiting for her to be like, I don't support James Charles or I do support James Charles. Either way, people want an answer. And I feel like she, she owes that to her subscribers specifically. Don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a shit. The people who are subscribed to her who have been asking her to kind of address where she stands on this situation, I fully believe that they that she owes it to them for that information so they know they can make an educated decision on whether or not to support her anymore. And I feel like that's why she's not saying anything. But what she's not realizing at this point, it's making things worse for her because as I've said in countless videos before this, staying silent in, in times like this where you should very much be very loud and outspoken against 
people like James and not support people like James is not good. The last point of the video that really had me like feeling some type of way was when she had this very like condescending undertone statement about how she was gonna do her video differently. Before we get too far into this video, I wanna make something very clear. I've seen a lot of anti-MLM videos, and I think that a lot of times when I watch these, they can come across as shaming the people in them. I do not shame you if you're in one than the other MLM videos that have been put up on YouTube because she was going to approach her video with compassion towards the people who are thinking of joining these MLM brands. And it's like, girl, fuck you and this performative bullshit. Hey, I don't know if you're ever going to watch this video. You probably never will. And that's fine. But I just want to say it just so it's out there, okay? People are not here waiting for you to release videos like this that are just a very obvious way for you to kind of subdue the ongoing calls for you to address this very large elephant in the room that you refuse to address, even though you really should. People, salt of the bullshit, Christy. There were a lot of people who watched that video and were very, very quick to say, this was so obviously done to get the heat off of you. But it didn't work, all right? People aren't waiting for you to denounce MLM brands. That's been done a thousand and one times, a thousand and two times now with your fucking busted ass video. Christy, what people really want from you is for you to stop fucking ignoring people, stop blocking comments, asking you to address the situation with James and where you stand with James. People want you to stop all that shit and finally just address it so people know how to move forward accordingly. Because you know what? At this point, it is so disturbing to know that anyone could stand behind or support someone like James, despite all the mounting evidence that has been brought forward against him about the nasty ass shit that he was doing with people under the age of 18. It's disgusting. And you know what? It would be remiss of me to make this video and to not acknowledge the very valid argument that has been brought forward by people in favor of Christy that it's Christy's channel. She can talk about whatever the fuck she wants to. And if she doesn't want to address something, she doesn't have to. That's great. That's correct. But I feel like in situations like this, when it involves people who have been inappropriately having any kind of contact with someone under the age of 18, I really feel like that's something that people should be very outspoken against. And they should at the very least be like, you know what? I don't normally talk about things like this on my channel, but I cannot ignore the fact that I've had relationships with this person in the past. And because of that, I feel the need to sit down and just clarify this issue once and for all. And I just want to tell you either A, I am still friends with James, I still support James, and that is that, or B, best case scenario, I don't support James. I don't want anything to do with James. I don't want any association with James. And then it's over and done with. It is literally that simple. If there is stuff on the back end that is keeping you from speaking up, maybe there has been a conversation in the past, whatever. Maybe there's NDAs. I have no fucking clue. I know a lot of shady things happen in LA with all these influencers with NDAs and things like that. And maybe that's the reason why everyone's staying silent. But at the end of the day, I feel like when it comes to things like this, where someone has been exposed by multiple people in a continued pattern of behavior over the last few years, when someone has been exposed for being inappropriate with people under the age of 18, I feel like this is something that you really should not stay silent on. Just putting it out there. I think you should very, very much speak against it and stand against it and at least let your subscribers know where you stand so that they can move accordingly and do what they need to do. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video.